Georgia. You guys worked really hard to get that lead back down at halftime, and they came out in the second half and were just hitting their threes. What happened uh, second half defensively there at the beginning of the half to get them get that yeah, big burst? I think threes? just miscommunications and then. Um, they were able. They had a lot of actions where they slipped out flares, and there was just a lot of off-ball movement, and they was able to get some open shots. They also hit some contested, contested threes, and mm -hmm. you know, they came out the second half uh, and just spraying from the perimeter. I think from the first half, they were, uh, they were four for sixteen, not shooting ball really well. They, they kind of just you know emphasized that, and um, you know, they came out in the second half on fire. How much did their length really bother you? They're such a long team, a lot of long, long guys. How much did that bother you guys offensively in the second half? Especially? I mean, yeah, they're definitely, for sure, um, a lengthy team. They're physical. Um, I think one thing they do a good job is yeah, crashing the boards on offensively and defensively. So um, I think that's what was killing us rather so than their length. They was able to, you know, get the boards, the long rebounds, and that led to the, you know, second chance points. You guys cut it to 65-60. They wanted a big run. You guys missed 14 and 16 shots in that stretch. Yeah. It looked like there were maybe some tired legs. Did you guys get a little bit tired? Um, not that I've seen. Um, I know those are shots that we're capable of making, and then we're going to make them. Um, Obviously, the, you know, they were all open and great shots. So we'll take that all the time. Um, I want to make that excuse of tired legs. Um, I think, you know, just going forward, we know what to expect. And we've been in situations like this. So it's only going to make us better. And, uh, you know, I'll, you know ball, the ball is always not going to go into the basket at all times. It's not, that's just how the way basketball goes. And you just got to, you know, bounce back and, you know, not always hold your head low, but, you know, hold it high in terms of, Learning what you could learn from the mistakes that you made this game, and then you know come back in Atlanta and just improve on that. You guys, you guys have nine games in. You got a little break now. Now, how would you evaluate kind of where you guys are at this stage, and and where are some of the things you guys need to improve on the next ten days? Um, I say evaluation right now. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, you know, we had a, a lot of people talk about our tough non-conference schedule, and um, I mean it's pretty evident. But I think um, we we have a really good basketball team here. Uh, from you know, the starters all the way to the bench. We have everyone that contributes in so many different ways. So um, I think we're in a really good spot uh, in terms of improvement, what we have to improve on. I just think the little things, um, you know, just talking on the defensive end and uh, you know, taking care of uh, turnovers and just getting back, getting into our transition offense. I think that's what's going to make us take the next step. But you know, there's so much potential with this team, and there's only positives you can look from. Archer, right, go off of that. You mentioned obviously UConn being a team ranked as high as they are, obviously defending champions. Uh, what do you think? You know, this team having some of the new personnel. What do you think? How close do you think you are to you know kind of get into the echelon of a team like a UConn? You know, kind of doing the things that, that they've been. I mean, I think we're right there. I don't think we're too far off. Uh, like I said, I think it's just the little things, but um, I'm really confident in this team, and I can only see positives from this. Um, I know, like you said, we have a lot of newcomers, but what they bring to the table is something that you know we've been missing. And um, so I think we're not too far off. We just got to tighten up the screws a little bit and uh, be disciplined. So you feel like this will hopefully help you all make a run in March, just having this experience? Yeah, I mean, I think it's always great to have these type of games in these type of environments because it kind of prepares you for what March Madness is going to look like. Um, and I just feel like any time you see steps onto the floor, it is like a March Madness environment. So um, and hopefully we just stay you know, focused and stay in the present moment and not look too far ahead and just take it one game at a time and then we'll be right there in March. I know the shots are going to go in and not go in sometimes, RJ, but did you like the fight? Is that one of the things that you leave out of here? Sort of feeling good about. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love the fight. It just shows that when you know we hit adversity, we're gonna you know get up and uh, overcome it somehow, some way. Uh, that's one thing about this team. We're resilient, and it's gonna take a lot for us to go down. And uh, you know, you can see the fight there. Even when it was a 12-point game or whatever, we was down. Um, we was able to just kind of chip away each possession by possession, and you know, just bring it down to single digits. So. Um, I love the fight from this team. I know that's one thing that we're going to bring each and every day. And like you said, you know, shots are not going to fall, but one thing you can control is playing hard, and that's one thing I can rely on this team for. Did that feel a little bit like an Elite Eight game out there for a while? A little bit, I think, in between the first half and the second half, and then uh, just kind of just up and down game, and a lot of physicality, a lot of, you know, just high energy from both teams, um, you know, talking trash, and you know, so that could just... Uh, speak of the you know the lead kind of kinda, matchup. Yeah. Crowd kind of made it sound like that. Too. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I think anytime uh, Carolina Blue um, steps into the garden, it's going to be that environment. Would you, <laughs> you get hit in the, the face? 
Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got hit in the face and the yeah. whole, I mean the mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think is the key in these next? You mentioned the, I guess, 11 or 10, 11 days that you guys are off. Uh, what are gonna, what are gonna, excuse me. What is kind of the keys to kind of, you know, being able to, you know, regroup, take the rest, and then also, you know, gearing up and game planning for Kentucky. I think just uh, take care of our bodies. I mean, we had a long, uh, a long couple of days, back to backs, and um, really no breaks. So yeah. just kind of just mentally and physically recover. Get, Guys, Coach Davis right, is going to the podium right now. Get right for your body for this upcoming next you know, 11, 12 days. But at the same time, just each and every day prepare for what's coming. And you know, we 